Action is the key to success. Just what you study, no amount of reading or memorizing will make you successful in life. It's the understanding and application of wise thoughts that count. Chapter 14 in this book is the impression of increase. Listen to what he says in this chapter. Increase is what all men and women are seeking. It is the urge of the formless intelligence within them seeking fuller expression. The formless intelligence. I see that as spirit. Spirit's all powerful and it's ever present. Spirit's all knowing. So I could paraphrase and I say, increase is what all men and women are seeking. It is the urge of spirit within them seeking fuller expression. He said the desire for increase is inherent in all of nature. It is the fundamental impulse of the universe. All human activities are based on the desire for increase. People seeking more food, more clothes, better shelter, more luxury, more beauty, more knowledge, more pleasure. Increase is more life. Every living thing is under the necessity for continuous advancement. Where increase of life ceases, the solution and death set in at once. Man instinctively knows this, and hence he is forever seeking more. This is the law of perpetual increase. If you will practice this, you're going to find your life will change. Your life will literally change. Every person you come in contact with, make up your mind you're going to leave them with the impression of increase. Now, how do you do that? You compliment them. Talk to them about something they've done well. You leave them with the impression of increase when they feel better because you have come into their life. Give them something they can feel good about themselves. You see, there's so much good in every person. And if you're looking for it, you're going to see it. And when you do see it, you know what you're going to see? A reflection of the good that's in yourself. It's a beautiful idea. Make up your mind, you're going to leave everybody you come in contact with with the impression of increase. He wrote this in 1903, a long time ago. It's still true. It always will be. It's Bob Proctor. Thank you.